All right, story time. This takes place when I was back in college and actually dated what you would call a furry. Now, for those of you who don't know, a furry by OxfordDictionary.com's definition is an enthusiast for animal characters with human characteristics. In particular, a person who dresses up in costume as such a character or uses one as an avatar online. Please note, this is not a video that is going to rag on the furry community. My ex merely was one, and represented the community poorly, in my opinion. Not all furries are like him, and it would be an injustice if I assumed they were. Everyone has their tastes or thing. Being a furry just isn't my cup of tea. That being said, I could care less if you're a furry or a potato. I'd still treat you with the same amount of respect I give others. In fact, when I first found out my ex was a furry, I didn't mind it. I actually didn't understand it. Now I won't go I now I won't go on to explain the insider look of a furry. There's a video that explains it much better than I could, which will be in the description below. So yeah, he was a furry, and I still loved him. I even took it upon myself to try to understand the culture for him. But as time went on, it began to impede upon our relationship. It was my senior year of college that this really hit me hard. For my final year, I moved out of the dorms and rented an apartment with my current boyfriend. The ideal dream, am I right? I was getting an education, living on my own, becoming a responsible adult, all the while hand in hand with my college sweetheart. It certainly was bliss, but it didn't last. Now please note that it's not because he was a furry that I ended my relationship with him. Oh no. There were many other reasons as to why. If anything, he was a boyfriend who happened to be a furry. Not all relationships are perfect, and this one, like any other, had its struggles. Anyway, there came to a point in that relationship where I began to question my own self-worth. Truth of the matter is, and I won't sugarcoat it, he looked at and saved all kinds of furry porn. He looked at it so much that when I reflect on coming home from classes or on the weekends when I was with him, he was either on his computer playing video games or oogling this naughty material and or saving more. It, it was mostly the naughty material, guys. At the time, I told myself, well, it's not hurting anyone, so I don't see the harm in it. If it makes him happy, it makes me happy, right? Wrong. I was so wrong. I felt like, because I didn't embody this fantasy, I myself, in short, was ugly, unlovable, and just insignificant. All because they didn't have a tail ears, whatever he vied for. I grew desperate in attempts to satisfy these unattainable desires. It also didn't help, and I'm all for honesty in a relationship, but at some point he had blatantly told me, I quote, The way you do your hair or dress does nothing for me. This took quite a hit to my self-esteem. It's been years later, and still these words gnaw in me at times. Am I beautiful? Am I sexy? Or am I even worth it? I may know where my value is now, but it took so much time to piece that together. My ex was hooked, addicted to this fetish side of the community, and I ignored the signs that this was the case. You would think having about a whole gigabyte and more of this save, mostly drawn content would have given me a clue. But when you love someone, you generally overlook things while gazing through rose-tinted glasses. In the end, it was one of many things that had driven us apart. We broke it off around mid-February of 2016, and I have to say that my college sweetheart was my most serious and hurtful relationship thus far. It had only hurt so much because I had loved him so much. This was a man I was planning to marry. We were planning to marry. But it never happened. 
Overall, if it weren't for the strife and tribulations of that relationship, I wouldn't be where I am today. I wouldn't have grown and learned more about myself than I ever could perceive a few years ago. One of the many lessons I had learned from this is that if you're in a relationship with someone, you should take the time to show them, to tell them how much you appreciate them for who they are. Whether it's the way they crinkle their eyes when they smile, or how they sound when they laugh, just down to adorable little habits you realize you can't seem to live without. Tell them that they're important to you, and you're blessed to have them in your life. I honestly wish I had that more in that relationship. Fantasies are all good and fine, but when they consume you, and that's all you see, you lose sight of who you initially fell in love with, and sometimes why. I can't speak for everyone, but this is merely what stood out to me, and what I've learned. I want to believe that there'll be a day where I won't say his name so bitterly, or grimace at something that reminds me of him. But I'm not there yet. Deep wounds like this, that shake the very foundation of who you perceive yourself to be, haven't fully healed. And him being a furry was only a portion of my torment that I'm willing to share. But, um... Thanks guys for sticking with me, this was a rather difficult story to voice, as I have redone, re-scripted, re-recorded, even reanimated a lot of what I wanted to say. Eventually I realized there was no way I wanted to put this, except bluntly. My ex was a furry. I hope this helped any of you out there. If anything, you should never undermine your value just because it doesn't meet certain requirements to satisfy the other person. You have your own full course meal and dinner to bring to the table. You're not a buffet where someone gets to pick and choose what they want or like out of you. Never second guess what you have brought to the table. They may not like everything that's there, but if they enjoy the server and the majority of what's been presented in front of them, they'll hold on to their forks and wait for that awesome delicious dessert around the corner, which I hope is cake and chocolate. Anyway, that aside, like, comment, and subscribe for more future content. And remember, be awesome, be you. Akemi, out.